Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're finally back with another walkthrough on Mafia. I have played this one before, but I'm going to do a premiere on it now. So let's go for 10 likes and let's do this. Mm, easy. Because it's all for like raging. <laughs> Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. Said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. 
But I got plenty to trade. Well, that's yours. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. What? Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Up, we're dead, but you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell they knew we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now, but there'll be more. Hold tight. I'm gonna try some. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Your leg will pay up there. It hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. He's getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. More of them. Ah, shit. 
Some shortcuts that'll slow him down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake him off. That was your shortcut? I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them. These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. The more he knows. More chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Exchange. Or what the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Okay, we're close. Pull over in front of that bar. Silieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but... I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out.
After that night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. I left that shoes at home. I gotta make them last. Don't need another pair. Not where I'm going. So where to? St. Michael's Church. Directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Huh? Come back this instant. Huh? So, church, it's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. What? Are you deaf? I said slow down. Stop there, by the park. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. These Italians Get out of your mind! What? Hmm. Better find a new fare. I feel more refreshed. Hmm. Huh. How are you? Art gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Huh? Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. How you doing? Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Pull up in front of the gallery. Thanks, pal. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. This city has laws! Taxi!
Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. On the right. Nearly there. Just up here on, on the corner, please. Only two cents. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Sure wish I'd Jesus! Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Uh. Huh? Uh. Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? uh. <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I can tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. OK, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. Least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this.
do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Cabby. We're helping him out. You gonna drive the boss? Il tassista, ricordi? Ah, si. I hate sitting si. around. Born as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. I'm not gonna give a good answer. Come back later. With Polly. Or sin. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go like see him whenever we need to do any uh heavy lifting. Make sure we're well healed well, for we're when there's trouble. For dough, but we gotta go. Long drive back north. Bagon of Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Benny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with him, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, see, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy, 
Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a cracked egg. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin cap. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys dealing broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, so long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, if you want a bottle, just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. And there's tables, and there's food, and there's skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. Goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. <laughs> Quiet, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his name, guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump from behind. Yeah, here. Real good at distracting. Ah, the boss gets plenty of guys in the city thing. real pissed. Make sure you be careful. I get the money. Hey! What the hell you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? I don't know what idiot told you to keep lookout here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Sally, you're <coughs> Just up. like that. I got it. <coughs> Let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. <laughs> the look on these faces is gonna be priceless. Hey. Oh, crap. <laughs> hey, get away from the car. Knock oh, it down, hurt. Tom! Oh, son of a... Come 
on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more. Use the Molotov and let's see some flames. Yeah, he got that nice and good. Use the bat to finish him off. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you can. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. Old ways are the best ways. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There Don't let him get away! Drive! Come back! Drive! Reloading! Oh shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Die, Tom! Die! We lost her. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. What part of stay out of sight wasn't clear? Careful, Tom. We don't need more heat. <sighs> We're almost in the clear. Almost. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Salieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? <clears throat> Drive careful. We don't need the attention. Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with... Drive careful, we don't need the attention. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So... I got a suit now, and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family, you had to have more connections. Your brother, or your uncle. Or... Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A, a, a better car with a, a, a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody.
He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Ignora quell'idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrai combattere ancora. Here he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Up. Oh.
Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. You ever carried a rod? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I right, open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. Yeah. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent. And... You, you, you know how to get, get, get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And in the afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Come on, Tita Tommy. Bring me something good, good, good to work on. Huh? Have a good day, Tita Fellas. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us. Where's the money? Erone, fetcha! I mean, how can we Voi protect you? Voi ci succhiate il sangue! It's on the pain. table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma, huh?
Okay, next up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taken over. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, and needs to let it out on his own. She's gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. There's a lady walking here. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to get information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Kill for some action. Treats me like some goddamn half portion. <laughs> Is that how it works to do Morello? Rat each other out so easy. I'll open you up. Get over Sir. here now! Get this gun! Why didn't we just rub them all out? Morello says we don't want a war. You're dying yet today! This don't feel like a war to you? <clears throat> He's on me! Sam, they really went to work on you, buddy. 
Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. And go get the money! That was when I saw the so cost. Much. What it meant to be on the inside. The <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. And Lord and over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping at its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. So guys, I'm gonna leave, leave it right here because I have to go somewhere. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you lot in the next one. Take care, and I'll see you lot in part two.